Hey, Dane, how are you, bro? What's going on? I'm doing well, mate. Yourself? Good. Good for a Wednesday night. Hanging about? Yeah. No, it's chill. Um, just fucking lazy one. Off work, so... Back tomorrow, though, so... Ah, uh, yep, 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 yep. Uh, how long you had off? Uh, it was a couple of weeks after my surgery. Um, yeah. They just... Yeah, kind of got sick of pacing around the house, honestly. What do you, what do you do when you're not um rocking and rolling? Uh what just at home? No, like uh work. Oh work, I'm a tattoo artist. Oh yeah, of course you are. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> I should know that already. I've seen all your stuff. It's been no, a long, cool. It's been a long day, my friend. But uh how how are you going after the surgery and stuff, dude? Are you you going okay? Yeah, man. It's um like the first couple of days kind of kicked my ass. Just I don't know, I yeah, it was really just those first couple of days, though. Like, the the week after that, it was a bit more like, um, I don't know if you've had a, a hectic surgery like that before when you just can't fucking touch it and it gets so itchy and, like, you just want to fucking scratch your stitches and shit like that. That's the battle I've been having the past week, and now that I'm past that, I'm pretty chill. How's that going to be getting back into it, singing and stuff? Have you been able to practice uh, a little bit or, or you know? Do warm up? Yeah, good question. I, I kind of went, so I had a bit of dramas, obviously getting headphones on and then, so I, I manufactured, because I went to go record something the other day, mm. um, manufactured a little, you know, ripped one of the head the headphones off and just kind of had it in my beanie there and then started and then, so yeah, fuck, my ear kind of hurts after that. Um, So that was about a week ago and then yesterday I had another shot at it feeling fine so i think it was just the first couple of days when everything was a bit raw um around that area like my jaw and that but uh yeah thank fuck i got back to it yesterday and i was like no nah, i'm i still got it oh that's it's always good feeling when yeah. you're, you're like oh yeah it's still there because i uh <laughs> I, I lost my voice for about two weeks last couple of weeks um Joke. just everyone's getting sick <laughs> and being a singer as you know <laughs> Uh, doesn't really work for us, and uh, I usually bounce back really quick and uh, lost it for about two weeks, and then, uh, yeah, the, the panic sets in. <laughs> Dude, when you, like when you lose your voice after like a show or something, it's it is what it is. When it's when yeah. you pair that with like when the flu gets you there, it's just like fucking put me down, man. Like this is the worst. Yeah, that's it, eh? So I've missed all the jams and all the recording. Everything's been pushed back, but hopefully next week's But uh. Yeah, man. <laughs> it sucks sometimes. I know. I know. It really sucks. But uh, anyway, enough about that. The new uh, <laughs> to the Grave album, of course, director's cut, man, it just dropped and it's brutal as fuck. And the response everywhere has been super positive, man. Like, uh, I, I think it's it's one of the best releases of the year so far. And uh, how are you feeling about it? It's out in the world. People are hearing it. You're getting some feedback. Yeah, man. It's It's been a really fucking crazy week honestly um the i guess the week prior to that we we're all pretty like really really fucking excited because there wasn't really much else left to do but wait and then it was out a lot of the boys were back at work and didn't really get the chance to like soak up the the first day and even chat to fans and all that stuff but mm. it has been really cool seeing seeing everything tick over the way it has man um yeah a, a shitload of buzz which is obviously always insane but like this time around especially um and i think especially noticeable in the in the build-up to it we yeah. were just really stoked with how well everyone was taking the singles and shit like that and yeah so far so good in terms of you know the concept behind the record and its title it deals with you know some pretty tough subjects and you've stated that you know in the in the press you know we're all writers and directors of a, un, an unending horror film. You know, it's a, actors unwilling and the scenes taking place in every circus, zoo, lab, farm, and slaughterhouse uh, that stay yeah. in our globe. Now, you know, animal rights is something that's very important to you and, and the boys. But, you know, what do you hope that people take away from this and apply into their own lives in, in, a, in a positive way? Good question. I mean, 
it starts specifically with the title. I think that was why I liked the title so much because it kind of makes people after a while of it kind of bouncing around in your head, you're like, all right, what the fuck does that mean? Like, mm. and it, 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 yeah, it does point to what I guess I do want people to take away from the lyrical side of things, um, especially is that, yeah, um, a lot of the problems we see and, and don't see, uh, especially the ones that we, we don't see, we have an active part in, uh, you know, helping or harming basically. And we, we can make the choice. And uh, I think a lot of it, like the world is, uh, it's set up in a way that we were led to make the wrong decisions and decisions mm. that would go against our moral framework basically is, is what I believe. Most people are, for example, animal lovers in Australia. Uh, we're a country full of them, right? So yep. the, the things that go on day to day that really, you know, the blame does fall on us um, uh, would blow people's fucking minds. And that's that's the point that I want people to take away from it. And yeah, we can have an active part in fixing it. Well, visually, the cover is is really confronting. You know, it, it even made me feel uncomfortable. And I guess the last album to really do that was, I think it was like Napalm Death's last one, you know, with the dove. I don't really yep. remember that. You know, <laughs> and... Hey, oh, yeah, I know the one, yep. Oh, man, I, I love that album too, and I've forgotten the title. doesn't matter. It, you know, yep. it's, uh, you know, it, I guess that, that serves its purpose, you know, and the picks were done by Animals Uncovered. Is that right? Correct. Yeah. It's, um, yeah. So that's the the most insane thing about that photo is it's, um, there's a, a, a close up of a, a much broader image, which is mm. like it's a horrifying full image, obviously. But this close up, all you really see is the, you know, this hole in the neck of this sheep. And a lot of people jump straight to, wow, yeah, like slaughterhouses are horrible places. And it's like, yeah, they are. That photo was taken at a sale yard, though. Like, yeah. Um, somewhere so far down the line of, of even a slaughterhouse. Um, and there you go. Yeah, horrible. It's really full on, you know, and I, I guess, you know, it really drives home, you know, what you're, what you're trying to get across with the album. But was that, yeah. was that difficult finding that right shot for the album? Was it something that, you know, you had to consider? Yeah, definitely. There's um, there's a million images just like that. Um, and at some point, you kind of have to think about all right, which whose whose story do I want to tell? Mm. You know. Uh, at some point, you got to numb yourself to it and find the the photo that's going to draw people in. And because yeah, once you yeah, once you go down that rabbit hole, you'll never you'll never find the right one if you know what i'm saying yeah that's right no that's right yeah. i also find it interesting that you know some of the heaviest bands with the most graphic lyrical content you know and visuals are, are you know vegans and vegetarians like you know like barney from napalm and travis from cattle to cap you know all yeah. these dudes you know i'm sure there are, you know there's a shit ton more uh, as well but have you had much interaction with other like-minded musicians and and how you could work together on the issues uh well, work together on the issues is an interesting yeah. question i think um yeah you do meet a lot of a lot of musicians especially that gravitate towards this kind of stuff um and i think i think a, some part of that has to be because like you know metals and a bit of a, bit of an outcast thing right and maybe yeah. maybe um i don't know when when I was in those shoes, like you know, in high school, for example, um, big animal lover as well, and um, naturally, when I saw another kid get bullied or an animal getting bullied, for example, I was like, yeah. I, I empathized, right? Um, I think, yeah, a lot of those. Um, that's probably a parallel there. Um, but yeah, working together. Um, that's a good question, man. I think. A lot of we definitely do encounter a lot of people who are like we we appreciate the fact that no one's quite come out and been as um no one's rattled the cage quite as hard as we have with it yeah absolutely and it's cool that we've we've definitely heard of 
inspiring people to you know speak out in in similar ways be more stoic and be more i guess proud of the of what they're speaking up about things like that when uh, no one else in their life you know what i mean their friend circles and whatever are just being cunts about it um we help them get through it and yeah and this is also the first album with luke right he's been with you for a little while though correct yeah it's um covid fucked all that and the, the my perspective on all of it but yeah he's been with us for a minute now um but yeah this is his first record with us and back after a while he was in other bands before and um so yeah we got him in for this one it was cool seeing like him have his day for example the other day um yeah that's awesome how was how it writing with him you know bringing him in to that or, or was that done before he jumped on board no it was um he was there for all of that and it was really fucking cool actually he's got uh uh how do i say it um He's got this wild card factor about him when you sit there writing because we we kind of got like an Airbnb situation. All of us hung there until we hated each other and like, uh, <laughs> and just coming in like after, you know, we'd be so exhausted or whatever, and you'd pass him the guitar and he'd he'd write this riff down and like, like the main riff of full sequence on the record, my favorite riff of the fucking record, I think right now. Yeah. He wrote it almost as a joke, and we were like, "Dude, that's perfect!" Like, let's fucking <laughs> yeah, shit like that. Um, he was great. It's good because we're all super serious about it, and you know, that's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. You've you've also got a couple of guests on the album, like uh, you know, on uh, protest protest and Sever, you've got uh, Sam Crocker from Antagonist AD and uh, Reversing the Bear Trap featuring Jess from uh, Bled Out, which is I, I love that band. Uh, Fuck yeah. incredible uh how was it working with them on those tracks yeah dude uh awesome so sam's just a fucking legend we've wanted to work with him for a while um and he like he he helped work with us on finding the right song for him and shit like that just on like he was really stoked on the themes of the record and, and all that kind of shit you know what i mean so that was a pleasant experience working with him and then he nailed the feature um jess was really cool because bled out uh opened for us in brizzy last year mm. last year yeah last year and um smashed it and we all were just like fuck that's like brilliant band unique vocalist um and she's vegan as fuck as well so like i, I think just through instagram we were all mates and all that and then when I hit her up, she was like, yep, within a, a week or two, it was all sorted because she was that keen. And um, yeah, fucking great to have those two on the record. Yeah, I love it. Sounds amazing. Mm. Yeah, they, yeah, their spots are, you know, you can tell it's them. You, go, oh, you know, when it pops yeah. up. Yeah, it's so yeah exactly. <laughs> and uh, the videos for the singles are always a, a visually incredible as well and, and very cinematic, yeah. like uh, the latest one, uh, found footage. Man. That that was Colin Jeffs, right? Yep. Man, that dude has like the perfect eye for this stuff. Hey, isn't he fucking insane? He's insane. Like every time he just he he gets better and better, <laughs> and it just I don't know how he's got to he's got to do some some like big movie shit soon. Like, man, is that something yeah, dude. to do? Maybe that that's that's the thing. Like we after we did this, we were like, fuck, man, we um the it was all an experiment on both sides for us like there was, it was a bit of a different song therefore the visuals were going to be quite mm -hmm. different and, and for him as well he was like oh well it's it's different for me he usually does music videos for songs and shit like that so trying to work together we ended up really really enjoying the process and that what we made so it was like fuck dude let's do this again um i don't know like we haven't really figured out anything, anything more than that. But the cool thing about Colin is that that develops so quickly with him. Like, mm. we'll, um, like for example, we shot two videos with him on this time around. And that first video, we were talking to him about this found footage clip. And, um, like just seeing him get so excited about a concept is like, yeah, this is our guy. Like, 
<laughs> uh, that's what you want, eh? Yeah, uh, and he fucking brought it, man. Do you think it's something that you'd maybe want to push a little further and, and do, like maybe a short film? I don't think I mean, there's not many bands doing that. Is that something that you'd maybe want to explore with him or, or someone in the future? Like, yeah, honestly, just because it's different. I think um, a lot of us didn't really know how this one would go. And then when it ended up being, yeah, this little narrated video, mm. almost short film experience thing, we were like, huh. Um, let's, let's actively try to, uh, that, that was us not even trying to create that experience. Now, if we do like, let's see how hard it could hit. So for sure, I think we'll at least try. Um, Incredible. Yeah. That'd be so good. But, uh, hey, hey man, (laughs) whatever you guys do next, it's going to be very, very exciting because I think you guys are. One of the bands pushing things not only uh, musically but visually as well. So I think you're on. Thank you. Yeah, I really fucking appreciate that. That's that's awesome. Thank you. Oh man, that's I love it. I love it. It's awesome. And uh, you know, you came back. You've just come back from that insane sold out run in Europe and and the UK with uh, that man. I saw I saw the pictures, and it's just fucking mental, dude. (laughs) Dude, yeah. Um, that's, you, that's what I mean. you know, you were there, so but, but even, even still, right? Like, we it's such a it's such a weird experience for most of us being our first time out of the country, right? So, especially as a band being our first time out of the fucking country, but like coming home, then back to normal so quickly. Like, I had my surgery and all that, so everything was a bit yeah, yeah. like that. I reckon that fucked me more, but like all the boys getting straight back to work. Felt so weird, man. We almost had to look back at the photos to be like, man, we just did that, didn't we? Like, um, but yeah, insanity, dude. Every night, like, uh, it's gonna be hard to top that one, I think. <laughs> Wait, I mean, you get the post gig blues, but that would be like next level. I feel like, oh, yeah, yeah, we we all had it, um, just because we, we, you know, put yourself in our shoes a little bit, we're like. All these bands we've looked up to for so fucking long, all of a sudden we're living with them on a bus, like um, every night from loading to load out, you know, with them learning and just living this kind of weird rock star experience that like almost get a bit bit of an imposter syndrome and then it's over and you're like, fuck, dude, these are like my best mates. Um, So, yeah, we, we had it on the last night for sure and then, it was a weird flight home, man. Um, just know when you're getting back to like, <laughs> yeah, work and shit, it's... normal life. Yeah, yeah. You got you got more coming up, haven't you? Like you're gonna be heading definitely. Back. all this. Definitely. What's yeah. next? What's the next? We are, so we have this man. Fuck! I realized we we're supposed to be flying out to the states today, but I um I had the surgery, so we pushed oh, that yeah. back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so fucking rip to that, but. Uh, that'll be if that's not next like we, we owe all those kids uh a fucking a show in each city so it'll be the states at some point this year for sure um we all went through that visa shit so we bloody better um, <laughs> um and fucking what else probably a massive oz run i'd say at some point this year as well and who knows like fuck we're only in March, man. It feels like I've exhausted a year in like three months. Um, it's weird. It's weird, yeah. isn't it? It really is. It's um, like it's been May. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. like, where the fuck did this year go? I oh, know. Um, but yeah, fuck staying busy, man. Like, like I said, I've been recording a bit lately, so there'll be fucking other shit at some point. Is that new, new to the grave, or is that like guest spots, or, or what are you doing there? Uh, a little from both columns, actually. Um, so, because TTG is always like, uh, almost like challenge accepted when we release something. It's like, all right, we've got to have the next thing loaded up. And like, um, we already somewhat do, but then it's like, all right, do we like, we, we just like staying active and, and making music and uh, yeah. So, so I She's been cooking. 
That's awesome, man. That's awesome. And uh, I, I, of course, I got to ask you about good things and uh, and Soulfly playing those yeah. shows. You know, man, that's nuts. How how yeah. how was that? Dude, so like fucking a good things being insane, right? Um, yeah. Just a whole fucking experience um, that we'll never forget. But like, yeah, Soulfly. So one of the bands that we all like. Like Jesus Christ, dude, um, was brought up on, um, and we are uh, like I remember me and our bass player Matt sitting there eating lunch at Good Things. Fucking Dino from Soulfly comes up and goes, "Yeah, I watched you guys like because <laughs> like, it was sick." Sits down next to us and eats lunch, bro. I start shaking. I'm like, "What is happening? Like, this is fucked." And then Dino's a good dude. He's such Dino's a legend. Such a, oh, mate. I'm I'm a massive Fear Factory fan, so uh, anytime I, I get a chance to chat to Dino, it's always me just being a Punisher. So. <laughs> <laughs> He's so like, dude, we walked outside and I watched 50 people punish him. He gave them all the time of day, like best dude. He, yeah, best best fucking dude. It's like wow, that's Jesus Christ. Yeah, crazy that, that that all happened, man. Um, man. And there's more on the way for you by the sounds of things. You know, when things are normal right. again, it sounds like there's a lot that, that's going to be on the way. Do you have a band that, you know, what's your, what's your bucket list been? What's that one band that you're like, man, you got to do that? To play with? Yeah. God, it's like at this stage would probably be like, I'd say Slipknot. Mm. Uh, yeah. Like a real tight fucking Slipknot show would would make my life right now. That's where my head's at. Um, but that's just because I'm on this like fucking Corey Taylor thing you know, <laughs> right now. I don't know. Um, yeah, that that'd be that'd be nuts. That would be depends on what day of the week you ask me. Really, like, yeah, you sort of you 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 switch around a bit musically. Do you flip flop for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> What would, um, what would be the other answer you'd give me on any any other day? Like, I remember when we were writing this record, we were like, this has to be like, like, uh, like steering us in the direction of being like Ramstein almost. And like, I think that faded towards the end when we like that, that vision was just like, ah, that was like a bit of a joke, but it was like, dude, we listened to so much fucking. <laughs> just of till and everything he's ever made <laughs> and yeah for for a good month there that was my answer so that's 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 a good one do you get into his solo stuff i i didn't at the start like pre pre writing the record i didn't i for some fucking reason i don't know i, I just maybe i missed the boat on it and then yeah, I just got punished with it enough that like started adding <laughs> to my Spotify here and there, and it's like fuck. Okay, okay. he's good, man. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah, I love that. Yeah. I love that stuff, especially the stuff he did with Peter from Pain. And her, her yes, body, you know, man, I love it. And even when he was doing that hip hop stuff too, you know, he was doing that. Dude, that's right. I forgot about that. They they did show me that. It's fucking cool. Um, <laughs> it's such a fucking diverse like talented con he is he um, is and yeah that band just sound like gods so like crazy yeah that's a good answer that's a good answer but uh of course man <laughs> like uh you know you've you're hoping to get back on the road and everything you've been, been recording is there anything else that you have coming up any sneaky little peaks you can give us <clears throat> yeah man so we're like next mission for sure is like Get a bunch of cool merch out. Um, we're playing the like the album tour. Do a little a run for that in Australia. Um, so I'd say that that would be next. Um, nothing's been announced yet, but I assume where are we? We're fucking almost a week removed from the album. Stuff will start getting announced soon. <laughs> it's um, like hectic. Yeah, yeah. Um, and just yeah, a shitload of like we've we've been out of the country for a month, and then for the past few weeks just been getting this album wrapped we haven't done like a big old merch drop so we'll do one of them um and then obviously way more exciting shit like we we want to stay as active as possible just 
if we can get back to Europe at some point this year, that'd be cool. Um, because there's all kinds of offers flying around. It's just what what are we what do we? Uh, it's got to work with like a sick Australian tour and mm. all that. Um, and and the states. So I I don't know, man. Like if you ask sixteen year old me, like. Like going to the states, going to Europe, doing a shit like, like potentially like a headline Australian tour. I'm losing my mind, right? So that's that's fucking crazy. Um, that's awesome. Yeah, that's the dream, mate. Eh? Living the dream. That's it, mate. I do. You know, I'm uh, I'm stoked for you. Thank you so much. Yeah, it's fucking literally been a crazy couple of years, I'd say. Now, um, we can almost pinpoint. A moment where it was like um just fucking everything started to climb after that so it's been it's been a good couple of years i think for us and it's well, we definitely did the shit years prior to that so it's cool everyone does eh? <laughs> they say yeah, they usually say well it's a decade band's gonna slog it out for for 10 years and before i think it's the yeah, universal that's that's, rule. <laughs> that's <laughs> fucking pretty close to the target in it <laughs> oh man don't know what it is don't know what it is but uh yeah yeah man but you're doing it and that's and it's fucking awesome and the new album is fucking amazing uh man thanks for hanging out on the show dude it's been really cool hanging out with you i really appreciate it and sorry again and to all the the lovely viewers who would have loved to see my face and all that um i apologize next time we hang right. out i'll get it all sorted we can we can do a face-to-face that we see absolutely it. yeah Let's do that. Oh, yeah. Do a face to face or a show or something. If you're gonna be rolling through the Gold Coast, hit oh, hit. Dude, hell yeah. You know, dude. If you're, if you're in the GC next time we're through, we'll um we'll link up for sure. And sounds great. Sounds awesome to me, bro. Well, uh, we'll have all the links down here to direct this cut. Uh, take care, brother, and uh, we'll see you very soon. I appreciate you, Nev. Thanks, mate. Thanks, bro. We'll see you soon. No, dude. Take <laughs> care. Thanks, man.